Good morning, everyone. It is August 10th. Um, we are in, oh God, St. Agathe du Mont. And uh, I'll put it on the bottom of the screen if I'm wrong. I did not do a close last night because I'm having issues with the hard drive that I use to transfer all my days of uh, footage onto. So I'm trying to use GoPro quick. It's not a good system, but anyways, um, this will do as far as uh, letting you guys know what's going on. Yesterday was a great day of riding actually, 113 kilometers altogether, about 350 meters of elevation gain, nothing crazy as we were on a rail trail most of the day. So um, we are headed for a place, oh geez, I'm not even too sure. We're gonna be riding about 80 kilometers to a place called Brooks something. I'm gonna put that on the bottom of the screen as well. I should have probably got that info before we started, but um, yeah, looking forward to get on the road. We're gonna stop and grab a coffee at Tim's and uh, yeah, let's uh, do it. back on the petite train the nord um, we're not going to be taking it right to saint jerome so uh if you want to see that total uh the total trail just go to my videos from two years ago on the petite train the nord i take it right actually to saint jerome and down into montreal but um yeah so back on the petite train the nord for a bit This is where we were yesterday, actually. That's where Jacques thought he lost his wallet, but I found it right where he uh, had stopped. Sweet. Very nice. Bonjour. I think this is Val David. I remember it was a pretty cool spot. I could be wrong though. Uh, let's have a look. Could... Yeah, Val David. Nice spot here. Thank you. 
Le Mepash. Mepash. Bonjour. Beautiful area here, Balmorin. Nice rolling mountains. If you, I guess they're mountains. Yeah, ski resorts and stuff. Chuck and I just noticed house across there. They got their own fly, uh, flying plane, float plane. Pretty sweet. Oh, gotta pay attention here, guys. Bonjour. Look at that sweetness. Some nice geological work going on here. Trying to do a little less filming today, but this place is making it very difficult to do that. I suppose that's a good thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I hate to keep saying it, but what else can you say? All right, Jacques and I were just cruising along after Val Marin, and uh, we had I had to stop and just get a little footage. We blew by some stuff that was, well not blew by, but rode by some stuff that was pretty sweet. So I stopped here and got some pictures, but what a beautiful little spot. Some definite lines for canoes if you wanted to come down here, kayak, whatever. Yeah, great spot. Just wanted to make sure I stopped and uh, got a bit of it. Uh, even though I've been here before, it's still uh, it's easy to ride by things once you get going. So don't be afraid to stop and check it out. It's definitely worth it. A um, lot of beautiful lakes and rivers that run, run along the side of the trail that um, offer good sights. Um, a lot of streams and stuff like that. So if you're not in a hurry, make sure you stop and check it out. And if you come here, try to make sure that you're not in a hurry. <laughs> As you see, the trail has turned to gravel, but it's really nice. Been traveling along this beautiful river. Streams off to the right and left, mostly left right now. The river is raging right here. Great section, all the way from Nominique, right up to here is just really nice, and after here too. St. Jerome's nice, but it's very busy once you get there. I think I stopped right here last year. Pretty awesome. Look at that rock in the bush forest there. Size of a tiny home, maybe bigger. You could carve it out and live there like Fred Flintstone. Just another gorgeous forest section of the Petit Train de Nord. A 
Uh, breathe, breathe in the air. That's Pink Floyd in case you don't recognize it by my tone. So refreshing in here. Different in, difference in temperature is absolutely amazing. Not that it's hot out today. I like to use the bike one, especially when I'm going through these areas so I can still look around into the forest and stuff like that. Can't forget about my own enjoyment. It's hard not to take video when you're riding by stuff like this, isn't it? Oh yeah! Yes, I remember this gear or train station if, for my mainly English speaking viewers. I do have people that watch from other countries, so my hat's off to you guys. Oh, I remember this, yes. This is the one night I ended up getting a motel. Hands off. Yeah, this was all jimmied up, or in real words, closed when I came through because of COVID. bike shop here and there's a coffee shop so it's all good in the train hood <laughs> so I was here last year uh, and contemplated uh, sleeping right over there behind the bike shop but that didn't work out so I end up riding a little further and then grabbing a room, uh, I think in Piedmont. So we're gonna grab some coffee here and maybe a bite to eat. All right, unfortunately our time on the Petite Train de Nord has come to an end. Um, we thought we were going a little further, but this, uh, I just checked while we were stopping having a coffee here and it's actually where we were supposed to get off the trail anyway. So it all worked out, but we're gonna go left up here and get onto some road. I think we're on road for the remainder of the day, but that remains to be seen, so. So we're still on the trail for a little while, I guess. Guess we're taking a different route now, so. Enjoy. Huge cedar trees off the trail. Ole, 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 ole. Anybody that watches the Doozer knows what that's all about. Ryan Van Doozer, if you don't and you like bike packing, check out his channel. wasn't in the right gear I was olaying and not gearing all right still traveling along the Riviere du Nord river of the north it's beautiful I would like to try and canoe that someday or really canoe anywhere <laughs> very lazy section here for sure deeper water All right, 
these are definitely our last few moments on the Petit Train de Nord. Another great experience and one I highly recommend to anybody. This stretch from Nomanique all the way down to St. Jerome's is absolutely in thoroughly re enjoyable and relaxing. So this is where I got off last year off the trail to go up to uh, Piedmont, I believe, and I grabbed a room. Yeah. All right, we got to pay attention. Village of St. Sevier. I think we got to turn left up here. Which way? A little downhill till the next uphill. <laughs> Makes sense. So this is what, uh, rail, don't mind the open shirt, I'm not trying to go full stud mode, but this is what the open road, uh, the bike lanes look like on the highways in Quebec. Pretty sweet. So 41 kilometers to the, uh, I don't know, campground slash hostel or whatever we're staying at tonight. Some steep climbing coming up though, so looking forward to that. Said nobody. Jacques and I got off the highway. We're gonna be on this pretty cool trail. I just went back there to the grocery store and all that, and grabbed a couple of cliff bars. And we're just taking a little break here. Pretty sweet. Sorry the bike's rolling away on me. Oh, we got a deer up here. See the deer on the right? There's two of them actually, one further back. Very tame to say the least. Okay. Hey. Do you speak English or French? Are you bilingual, dear? This deer is bilingual, Jacques. Yep. So this trail we are on now is called Corridor Aerobique. I think we're gonna have to get off it right here though. Unless uh, we got a different route. Ah. Getting eaten by mosquitoes when we stopped. Oh, it's raining. I just felt raindrops. Nice spot here though. <coughs> it's definitely raining though. So I may have to put cameras away. I'll get out the Hero 7. It's got the waterproof case on it. Yes, GoPros are waterproof, but I got the uh, GoPro mod case on there. Media mod and it's not completely water it's water resistant so can't take chances with that one 
but beautiful trail. Mon Dieu. So we got about 40k to the room, and uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling okay. Had a cliff bar just now, Drink, drinking a lot of water, dropped the ball the last couple days with eating and hydrating, so try and get back on that. Road crossing too. Put the camera down. That's something. <clears throat> I'm not bombing this because I don't know what's up here. I wouldn't mind carrying some speed into the hill. Actually, I'm going to get some pictures here. Look at that. Just a gorgeous little spot here. We got to go up this hill here, so... Uh... Figured might as well stop anyways, but yeah, really nice spot. Felt a few raindrops, so I think we're gonna be flirting with it all day. It's gonna come around the corner here. Absolutely gorgeous. A couple of chairs, three chairs or so sitting over there, but just a beautiful spot. If I had a filter and I need a water, you have no worries whatsoever. That water's moving really nice, so Jacques's gonna start going uphill and I'm gonna join him. I don't know if I'm gonna push this ride yet. I haven't decided that yet, so. Yeah, just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. It really drops down quite a bit here, too. Looking down from the bridge. Probably some pretty nice waterfalls as this goes along. Came from that way, going that way. Bonjour. <laughs> I had to use the granny gear, the 51 tooth. It wasn't too bad. No, I wasn't trying to show off. It's just easier to ride if you can. Whew. Got the heart rate going a little. Jacques and I were just saying this is such a great trail. I think it is still the Corridor Aerobic, but I will check it out. If it's not, I'll put the correct trail name, but very nice trail. I don't see how there'd be any issues with camping along it if it was that time of the day for you. There is a highway just off the trail at almost at all times, so if you were wanting to move a little quicker, although there can be more hills on the trail. Skies look clear ahead, so Whoa, sweet baby Jesus. That's sweet. I'm gonna get the shot up here in a bit. That's pretty sweet. I'll pull a photo out of the video. Really nice spot. So yeah, it is raining a tiny bit according to this, but it looks like we're moving to clearer skies. So fingers crossed for us. Just when I think I just when I think I can put the camera away. Like, holy knocking off. Absolutely stunning. Oh shit. Alright, let's do this. Rail trail nirvana. Oh my. Switch hands here. Absolutely spectacular. I have a feeling we're not on this for very long according to Jacques Wahoo. So enjoy it while we can. Lined by larches and birch trees. Really beautiful. Even if we are climbing a bit. Lake below. Yep. It's a good one. All right, well, here we are. 
Is there a trail right here or? No, no we got to go up, eh? All right. Uh... Crazy hill. Yeah, push up, it's about 21%. So tough slog with a fully loaded touring bike. I don't, hopefully we don't have too many more of these. just went through there. Um, the rain has subsided a bit. I think we're going to try and make a push. We got about 25 or 30 k to go. So uh, you're probably not going to hear much of this because I got the waterproof case on there, but it is what it is. All right, so we did arrive at the Hotel de Chesur, um, which means, Chesur means hunter in French. Hotel of the hunter or hunter hotel. So yeah, um, we're staying in this really cool, uh, I'm not sure what you would call it. Uh, it's not a hostel, it's not a motel, but rooms are separate. We got a really small room, just enough for two beds and that in it. Um, there are some individual rooms in here, but there's coffee, um, another room in here with a TV. They actually let us dry our clothes in a dryer. Um, bathrooms are pretty nice. As you can see, I'm not gonna go right in. Give you a quick peek of the rooms. They're pretty small, but um, you got all this area too, so it's not too bad. So <laughs> Jacques and I had a pretty tough day today. We got caught in pretty serious thunderstorms. And um, yeah, I got to the point where, you know, I had too many clothes on with the rain jacket. I started sweating, took them off. And then of course I got too cold. Um, when we first got caught in the storm, it was craziness. We were on the side of the highway. We pulled off, tried to find some shelter. Couldn't really find any. Rain stopped a bit and then we got going again. <clears throat> and we found, uh, as we got going, it started really raining again. Found some shelter. There was an outhouse and then also like a little picnic, covered picnic table. So we kind of utilized those things and then got going. We still had about 30K after that. I won't lie, it was rough. I was shaking because I was so cold. So it was nice to get here, get a hot shower, get our clothes dry and all that. So coffee and food in us. So anyways, um, my hat's off to both Shock and I. Um, I will say it was tough, but um, we persevered. So tomorrow we're gonna kind of play it by ear. We're gonna go to Hawkesbury and we will be back in Ontario tomorrow. So that's kind of neat as well. Really challenging day, but um, it's one of those days that when you look back on it, you kind of look back with fondness that you got through it. Um, it's type B fun for sure, but that's uh, bicycle touring. And um, if you can't deal with that, then it's probably not your cup of tea. So anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna sign out for August 10th, um, Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not positive. I think it might be Thursday, but yeah, anyways, I am pretty tired. So I'm just gonna relax a bit, do a couple of things, get some batteries charging and get ready for tomorrow. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.